Hello, this is Final Fantasy 7 and today we will be assaulting Shinra building. So, as you remember, our new friend Eris was kidnapped by Turks, who are basically Shinra kind of special unit, let's say. Um, and now we are on a mission to get her back. So there are two options to approach this, you know, to uh, storm the building, uh, to get into the building. You can take the stairs. So you would need to go there or you can just go guns blazing uh, through the main door and I think this is what we're gonna do because we will not be leveling much um, like you know grinding levels so fighting here may actually be a very good option for us to get a little bit of experience and levels so without further ado let's go Hello, boys. Colizers. Okay, sweet. Let's go. So now uh, there are a few options that we can do so we don't necessarily have to go, but we can. We can't fight those guys with the primary. Not sure if we can take those elevators, but um for sure we'll be able to take we'll be able to take some elevators. So we want long range attacks and magic to hit the guys in the back for better damage. Yeah, trunk are fine. Gonna waste those dudes here. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna take the stairs here. Here. Can we open those? Oh, okay. And this one? No. Uh, however, we'll be able to come here later and uh, open those uh, those uh, chests. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah. So here we can do shopping, or uh, we can sell stuff if we want. Uh, we don't necessarily want to do it, I just wanted to show in case you need um, to do it. And uh, let's take the elevator. Okay, so we're gonna start pressing buttons and now we will be going up. Now we're gonna play elevator elevator roulette.
And there's one thing that I forgot to do. I will do it after the fight. Quite handy. Oh, nice. So, what we can do, we can change the order, right? So we just click or press, you know, uh, OK on the order command and then pick the character you can change, you know, the order of the people in your team who you want to be, you know, from uh, left to right if you are facing the team, right? You can also do this if you double press OK, so, you know, OK, OK, you can put people into back rows. So for Cloud and Tifa, we don't want them in the back row, but Barret we do because his range attack will make him uh, do the same damage regardless of where he is, however him being in the back row will make him receive less damage, so it's just a better option for him. We'll have to heal him um, not as often, considering that he has cover materia on top of it, it will be yeah, very useful. those guys so as you can see we are starting to get uh, on the on Tifa slots not on the um, hit and yay which is just normal hit and critical we also get miss which is not nice so we don't want to miss with her um, limit breaks I think it's actually better for those um, slot um, limit breaks when you have lower FPS, I think. Because then it's easier to... I remember it was way easier on PS1 to um, get exactly the... Um, uh, how do you call it? You know, the, the, the result that you wanted than it is on PC. something ah, too late fifty three okay we're getting closer where aim is uh, floor fifty nine Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go 
here and pick a fight with those guys. I'm not sure if you can see, but Pirates Limit Bar has a different color. And I think he's actually in a Fury status, which means that his Limit uh, Bar will fill up faster than the other people. Or faster than compared to normal. Mm, you see? It's like 28 damage and Almost a quarter, quarter, one third. Nice. Another limit break. I think we'll let Barrett use. Ah, oh, no, he cannot use one as a. Uh, okay, yeah, we will let him use his and then Cloud can come in because it's better for Barrett to use. Limit breaks because he needs to get the second one, but Cloud can do the, the kills. Okay, that's fine. And now we're gonna pick up, uh, yeah, key card two, floor number sixty. Also, if you wanna go down to uh, first floor and then take the stairs, you can. Um, Especially because there is, uh, I think, an item or two that can be uh, can be obtained over there. It's nothing serious. Okay, so what we have to do now is we have to pass through the uh, patrolling soldiers. First, we need to sneak cloud by, and then. Now we have to give signals to people when they can go. Yeah, yeah, you go. You go. So for those guys, whenever they change, we can let people um, people pass. But here, it's not going to be as easy. So we want them to go the other direction. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Now we'll be. Yeah. Here. Here. Oh. Nice. Nice. Cool. It was nice and clean. I barely do it on the first try. <laughs> okay, 61. So if we go up now, right, we won't be able to get out. Right, so because you don't have access to level 62 or um, uh, or higher. So we need to speak with people here. And one of them will give us 
key card. Uh, what if we pick the second option? Here we go. Oh, well, well, what did they pick? Oh, okay. So now we can use the we can use the cards, the key cards to travel through the through the floors. Um, we are on what, 61. Let's stay on 61. It's fine. I don't think there's anything else here. Now the worst part. Okay. Okay, so essentially how this works is that in each of the rooms there is one book that's misplaced. So if you go here, right, uh, it will give you the title of the book and the number, right? So one of those books here, see there's 17 modern history of Midgar, then 10 production, uh, material production and military uses, um, and so on and so on and so on. Now, the thing is that the misplaced book, right, with its number gives you a letter. So in this case, this one is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four. So the seventh letter is I for this book, right? But this is not the misplaced book. Um, how do you recognize that the book is misplaced? Is by reading what's here. So this one sh says that it's Peace Preservation and Weapon Development Research Library, right? So if there's a book over here that doesn't belong, it will be that book. Now, so the puzzle, right? Is that we need to have a chat with him the Meyer and he will basically tell us that we need to guess the password right now the thing is that when we guess it on the first try we will get elemental materia which is fantastic however we have to guess it on the first try right there are a few options to pick from uh, however there are only four possible answers that can be an actual password right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place where I can save and then I'm going to come back and try one of those four uh, passwords. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to reload the save and uh, try another one. Okay, so I have save and now uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six possible options. However, there are only only four of those can be a password. So it can be best, king, bomb, or mako. Uh, I I don't really want to play with the you know guessing the books. I, I was never good at it, so I will just try to uh, guess the password that way. So I'm gonna start with best. No, it's not correct. But we can do this king. Okay, it's king. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reload the save and then I'm gonna come to him and um, tell him the <laughs> tell him the password basically. Okay, so we are back and then let's say king. Nice. Now we have a key card and elemental material. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check what this material does. Adds material element to equip the weapon or armor that's actually very nice so we have all and restore and fire mm -hmm. let's pick someone else let's see you have lightning and you have ice so we're gonna give you elemental lightning yeah that works Okay, now another floor and another puzzle. So this one is 
basically a puzzle that allows you to open three doors uh, and then go and try to pick up the items over there or rather coupons that can then be exchanged for an item. Uh, there are three coupons and three items. The first one is a star pendant, which is an accessory. Uh, the second one is four slots, which is an armor. And then the last one is all materia. Now, um, we don't need all three of them. So we should be okay to just pick two. Uh, however, there is an option to get all of them. So I think um, we will, we will attempt that. So what we need to do is drop a save first in case we, oh, actually we, no, we don't need to because we can reset the door, the, the doors, so it's fine. Okay, so from this room, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way here at the top. Oh, wait, we have to interact with the, the thing first. here and now we can get in to this room pick up this coupon and climb up the vent we're gonna go in yeah here and here and then we're gonna take we're not gonna go straight we're gonna go left which is up go out and left gonna open this door here and this is our last coupon and we're gonna use the same um, way to go up the vent and now we can go into the main room and if something went wrong you can just clear everything and then it will reset the coupons and the doors or you can just exchange the coupons if you're happy so we're gonna do it okay star pendant four slots and all material very good now well, let's see what we got so four slots nice very good um it has normal growth uh, however the defense is lower to what we have but magic defense is higher I think we can if we really want we can equip it on on Barrett which oh it's better than what he has so we're definitely gonna do it and yeah star pendant protects against poison uh, can we no we cannot But wait, uh, we don't have four slots, get the four slots up. Okay, so we have all ice, lightning, elemental, all restore and fire. So I think in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go fire, all, cover, and we're gonna give ice to cloud. Okay, nice. Another floor. So this is the floor where there is no puzzle, but there's a safe point, you can rest. save um, ok 
Okay, so there's one vending machine. Yeah, this one. And we're gonna pay 250 to try it out. Yeah, now bang on it. Make sure we bang on it. Okay, cool. So nothing happened, but we can come back and we will get something for this later on. Uh, now we're also gonna go in here and uh, we're gonna check for a few things. So we should be able to get out of here Phoenix Down and Ether. So there's Phoenix Down. And Ether, and there's one more thing. No. So there's a megaphone but it's not any good yet. It will come into play later. I will make sure to come back and pick it up. So with this we can go to another floor. Yeah, and this one is another puzzle. So essentially the thing here is that we need to find an open um, box, nice, which contains part of the Midgar map or uh, model, let's say. So we're gonna insert it and this will open another box. And our job is to essentially go from uh, box to Midgar uh, map or model insert the missing piece and then find another part or another piece nice okay so um, no go attack attack if we use this uh, limit break already it's cool can you get slap on Tifa please Yeah, later on in the game, when our cover material levels up, uh, it will become a little bit problematic to grind for other team members who don't have cover um, for their limit breaks. So essentially, it will be the best option to actually have the you know the, the person who you want to perform limit breaks to have cover material because then they will be uh, hit a lot. Okay, one more. Okay, cool, that's it. Locoweed. 
Uh, yeah, so okay, so this one is open now. And we got key card to 66. Okay, here there are no puzzles, however, there's something that we need to do. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go all the way to the toilet, as you do. And we're gonna flush first, and then we're gonna climb up. Now we're gonna crawl in the vent. And you're gonna use job on the conversation. So I'm not sure what exactly they're talking about, but I'm uh, for sure they are scheming. And there are a few key players over here. So this guy in white uh, coat is Hojo. He's a, a doctor, let's say, scientist. Then at the head of the table, we have um, the president of Shinra Corporation. Then on the left, there's Palmer. And then wearing green is Heidegger. Then, uh, Sang from um, Turks and uh, what's her name? Elena? Scarlet. No, I didn't want this. Just let's back out, Cloud. Let's back out. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So now we see Hojo going back and uh, we can do what uh, everybody in our shoes would do we're gonna follow him to do over here other than to follow Hojo now we're just gonna hide over here just so that this guy doesn't see us especially on his way back <laughs> so perceptive Roger as well. I can see a doggy in the glass container over there. So the name Sephirot. Um is being mentioned and then you know Genova. Uh, so Cloud had um, an episode but uh, we're just gonna you know, talk about it a little and that's it. 
now we have poison material which is very nice and with this we're gonna finish for today uh, next time we're gonna take the elevator and hopefully we'll be able to break out Ares from here so thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one